Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We're getting closer and closer to this Appalachian State matchup next week. That one should be a good one. But first, we have to take care of business here at home versus Georgia State. And don't get it twisted. I mean, we have the number one rush defense in the nation right now. But we are going up against a Georgia State team who every year kills us as they give the ball off to Darius Stubbs, the senior, as he is a beast. I mean, he beasts us every time. He's got 10 touchdowns already this season, only 640 yards, but he's going to be a handful. So here we go getting underway. Stubbs does get two consecutive carries here. As like I said earlier, we have had problems stopping this guy throughout this whole dynasty. So now on a first and 10, here is Walker. And he can scramble Bruh. a little bit. And look at that. He avoids a tackler on that. We run right past him. And he picks up the first down. So now on a second and eight, past the 40-yard line. Throwing out to the right side. He's going to find Medrian Vines for the catch on the sideline. And that's going to be a first down. So here is Stubbs getting the handoff to the right side. And that's a tackle by the All-American Chris Thornton. So now second and 11. Handoff to the left side. Here is Stubbs. And he gets a couple of blocks and almost makes it into the end zone for the touchdown. But that's a gain of 14. So first and goal. Here's a handoff to Clark, the backup running back. And he gets in for a touchdown. And they put up seven already i thought our defense would be pretty good in this game because we number one rush defense but i mean that is definitely not showing here but back on offense here's curtain starting out this game throwing the ball finding angel gonzalez for a nice gain on that one so now first and 10 already past the 50 yard line here's tyron summers getting a handoff and he's picking up eight on that one and now we get it down to a second and two at about the 35 yard line here's curtain rolling out to the right side Going to improvise. He's going to throw deep and find Mike Harrison open for the touchdown. 36 yards, and this is the smarts of Mike Harrison on this one. He stops that curl route, sees the open space behind him, moves to the end zone, and that's a perfect throw from Curtin, making it 7-7. So now here comes Georgia State back out on offense. Walker from the shotgun, throwing out to the right side. That's Bryson Duckworth for the three yard reception that time. So now on the third and seven, giving the draw play off, but look who it is. It's Malik Great, who plays in the slot this year. Remember, Xavier Davis did take his spot on the outside, and that's a nice third down tackle on that one. So we do get the ball back after the punt, giving the ball to Angel Gonzalez on the jet sweep and only picking up three yards. But on the next play, here's Tyron Summers getting a handoff up the middle. He's picking up eight yards on that one. So first and 10. From the shotgun, throwing the ball across the middle. That's Jack Kleck picking up 12. So now we're in business. If we score on this drive, we can definitely take the lead and be in the driver's seat. But on the next play, we do a play action fake to the running back, and that's going to be a sack. Chris Mitchell gets in, and he gets in pretty quickly. But on a third and 18, throwing the ball to the left side, and we throw it a little inaccurate. Curtin, he could have thrown to the outside there. His receiver had room. Only him on the outside. The corner was on a blitz, but it's deflected by the safety. So we do have to punt the ball back to Georgia State. So here's Tamir Jones starting out that drive with a reception for 23 yards. Here is Stubbs. Darius Stubbs dragging his defender for a first down. So now to round out this first quarter, here is Stubbs getting another handoff up the middle, another 10 yards. And like I said, we've had problems stopping this run Rushing offense, I mean, they're definitely run-oriented. As you can see, I mean, they're just giving the ball to Stubbs back to back to back as he picks up his third first down of the drive. But on a third and 12, throwing the ball deep to the right side, that's going to be deflected by Xavier Davis. And he's been pretty playing pretty well on the outside as we do get them to settle for the field goal. So now, here to start the second quarter. On a second and two, throwing out to the right side. Here is Gonzalez getting open for an 18-yard catch on that one. And that's a good gain of 18 on that. So second and three, getting some pressure up the middle, and he's taking a hit. But look at Sean Curtin. He's down. That So that's going to bring in our backup quarterback here as Black gets his first playing time 
in this dynasty. So on his first pass, he throws over the middle, and that's a catch over the middle to Justin Johnson. And let's just take a look at Kevin Black. I mean, he's a pretty good quarterback, 81 throw power, 81 accuracy, but he doesn't have the speed at all. I mean, he's just not mobile at all, and that's the difference between him and Curtin as he gives the ball off to Tyron Summers on the next play, getting in for the touchdown. And now we are up four in the middle of the second quarter. So here comes Georgia State back out on the next drive, throwing the ball to the right side to a Fetty. And that's not going to be enough for first down, only a gain of four. So third and five. Here is Walker from the shotgun. Going to throw the ball deep to the right side. And Vines Bruh. is going to come up with it. And somehow Xavier Davis does not deflect this one. He has his back turned, but look, he I don't even know what that is. I mean, it's like he lost the ball in the air, like he forgot how to play football, and somehow he gives up that long gain. So, wow, we give up a big touchdown, but then we have some more bad news because Sean Curtin is out for the game, which leaves our backup quarterback in black, and he is a little bit better at throwing the football 81 accuracy 81 throw power i believe curtain is maybe like 78 throw power like 75 accuracy but here's the thing he can't run so if i'm trying to escape out of the pocket it's going to be tough so i gotta depend on this running game a little bit and maybe these short quick passes getting the ball out of his hand so here's tyron summers Getting a handoff up the middle, nine yards on that one. So first and 10 at the 20 yard line, dumping the ball off to Summers. He's putting a move on the defenders that time, shaking two of them and picking up nine yards. So third and four now inside the 15 yard line. Here is Black throwing out to the right side. That's almost picked off by CJ Cotman as he has two deflections in this game. And we had to settle for the field goal. So we tie this game up at 17. So here is Vines getting the slant route to start the next drive. And that's a gain of 17 for him. So here's Walker giving the ball off to Darius Stubbs. And look at the blocking on this one. And look at the angle that Allen King takes. He breaks a tackle. And Darius Stubbs gets in for the 55-yarder. Wow. Look, at he's even breaking records Bruh. on us. I mean, this is ridiculous. As we came in this game with the number one rush defense, and I'm pretty sure we're not leaving with the number one rush defense because Darius Stubbs is running all over us. So here on the next drive here, two minutes left in the second quarter, Tyron Summers getting the screen pass as we pick up eight on that one. So now second and two, here is Black from the shotgun, gonna lob it over to the right side and that's gonna be caught by Angel Gonzalez, having himself a pretty good season from the slot. So now second and 10, throwing the ball out to Garrison Burnett. He puts on a move and picks up some running room and he gets hawked down at about the 22 yard line, a gain of 28 on that one. We gotta give Garrison Burnett the ball a little bit more because when he gets the ball in his hands, he's electric as J.R. Walker picks up the first down. So now inside of 15 seconds, Jimbo Brown gets in for the touchdown. That's five yard up the middle for Jimbo Brown and that's a touchdown, but there's only 15 seconds left. They can't score, right? Well. Darius Stubbs starts out this next drive, 19 yards on that carry, so eight seconds left. We put a cover four on, and look at Walker throwing the ball. Deep, he finds Vines, and Norman gets beat on the outside, and in a cover four, how do you let the receiver get behind you? I don't know how, but it this half ends in disaster, and they go into halftime with a seven-point lead. So now to start this second half, here's Garrison Burnett on the return to start the second half, and he makes it to about the 37. And bad news, another bad news injury here. Allen King is out for the rest of the game. So now we have to deal with Brandon Jones at free safety. He hasn't had much playing time this year at free safety, and he's going to get in as Allen King is hurt for the game. That's why you see Garrison Burnett returning kick. So here's Angel Gonzalez getting the pass on the next play, 18 yards across the middle of the field, fighting his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And Kevin Black gets his first touchdown pass of his career. But look at Angel Gonzalez. He basically rides the wave into the end zone as he never touches the ground on that. And he makes it a 31-all game. So here's Walker on the next drive. You see him breaking tackles. 
and he's getting upfield for a 27 yard scamper on that so now here is Stubbs up the middle getting the draw play and he's picking up a nice gain on that one gain of 12 we have not been able to stop him in this game as he has ran all over us so now on a first and 10 throwing the ball deep to the left side and that's Carter their tight end and he's gonna pick up 26 yards on that one as wow we have not been able to stop their offense so here is Stubbs getting the handoff up the middle inside the five yard line he's picking up a gain of four and a touchdown as wow they've put up 38 points on us and we aren't even in the fourth quarter so here is Kevin Black back out on offense getting his feet wet here running out to the left side doesn't have the speed to get to the first down marker so now on a third and five throwing the ball across the middle no he gets sacked so wow we try to get rid of the ball and get hit on that and we have to punt the ball away so now first and ten on the next drive Xavier Davis Bruh. has a chance at an interception and instead he knocks it down a questionable decision on that one for him not to go after the interception as this drive continues as uh, Walker does find his receiver for a six yard gain but now the next play here's Walker running an option on a third down and that time Kenneth Ruff is going to tackle him for a loss and that's going to be a punt so that comes back to not haunt us as Xavier Davis didn't go for the interception but we do get the ball back so here is Tyron Summers getting the handoff he's picking up a nice gain on that one but on a second and 10 throwing the ball across the middle that's Jack Kleck the tight end and he's picking up 13 yards on that one so now second and six at the 35 here a handoff up the middle here is Jimbo Brown picking up a first down and he's fighting for a nine yard gain as we move the ball inside a field goal range but now inside of a minute left in this third quarter third and two a couple plays later a perfect lob over the middle by Kevin Black and Kevin Black has just been impressive in this game and that's a 12 yard gain on that one so now first and goal here is Tyron Summers back in the game and he's picking up seven yards and that's enough for a touchdown as this is cooking up to be a great finish here going into the fourth quarter as it is 38 to 38 so here is Carter back out getting the reception to start this next drive as Walker has just been pretty good in this game as he's not the best quarterback but he's been completing passes and doing his job and finding his receivers in space so here is Darius Stubbs who has been carrying this offense he gets a nine yard gain and it seems like every run he's been getting has been 10 yards, 9 yards, 11 yards, 12 yards. As they, this drive does continue, Tamir Jones gets the reception. So everybody is touching the ball through the air. But here is Walker taking it himself on the ground. He gets smacked, but he holds on to the ball as Micah went, almost forced it. But we couldn't bring him down and we couldn't bring the football out of his hand. So now on a third down, they run the screen pass and they pick up the first down so this drive continues so now inside of six minutes left in this fourth quarter throwing the ball across the middle to Medrian Vines again and that's his third touchdown of the game and look at him he's even breaking records so wow they are up seven points here in the fourth quarter we have to pull this out at home so now we dump the ball off to Tyron Summers starting this next drive getting under six minutes and that's a first down so now second and nine here is Kevin Black from the shotgun throwing the ball deep over the middle that's gonna be caught by Andrew Gonzalez and he's gonna be at 90 yards receiving with that catch as he's having himself a really really good game in this one we definitely needed it so here's Tyron Summers getting the counter to the outside that's only a gain of six so now third and two here is Kevin Black going out to the right side showing a little bit of his legs and throws to Andrew Gonzalez who's open and that one is going to get him over 100 yards on the game as he's had a pretty good game, like I said. So now on the next play, running the ball. But look at this, clipping. And that's a loss of 15 yards on that penalty. So now we're at a first and 25. Here is Tyron Summers getting the carry up the middle. He's getting a little bit of it back, 10 yards. But it still makes it a second and 15. So now we try to run that same play back, but that's going to be stopped by Georgia State on defense. So now third and 11. Here is Black throwing out to the right side. It's going to be picked off by Cotman. And Cotman has been deflecting the ball all game. We have not thrown many of those curl routes, but look at it. He reads it, 
the entire way and that's just a great defensive play by a veteran a senior on that defense as wow they start out this next drive with the ball and a seven point lead as they're just trying to milk this clock so here is walker throwing out to the right side that's almost an interception by xavier davis but instead he decides to bat it down instead of going for the interception so now this drive stays alive third and 12 here's walker throw it out to the left side that's gonna be caught on the sideline and that's a clutch catch from a fetty who's only got two catches in this game and he keeps this drive alive so here is darius Stubbs getting the handoff and we almost stop him Bruh. but he breaks the tackle and picks up the first down and that is all she wrote as we use all of our timeouts and we do not have enough time left. And wow, Georgia State comes into our building and upsets us on the road, bringing us to three and one in conference as now this conference race gets really, really tight on our side of the bracket as we have three teams who are now three and one, including uh, Georgia State, us and another team and then we have Appalachian State who is undefeated who we are facing next number 13 in the nation wow but this was devastating because I was hoping that maybe if we upset number 13 Appalachian State next week we can be ranked but I don't think that's going to happen at all wow I mean this is a devastating loss at home as well and what's up with these raining games? I mean, every single game is raining at home. We need to get some good weather here in South Carolina. But wow, we go home with a L as Vines went off. Everybody on their offense seemed like they went off. And we just did not have a good game defensively. And this is something we're going to have to clean up going into next game. Because, I mean, think about it. Appalachian State is like 93 overall, I believe. 95, something like that. And if we can't stop Georgia State, we're definitely not stopping them. So, I mean, we just got to clean up that defense. The offense wasn't bad. Even with Kashawn Curtin getting hurt, we weren't bad. But our defense has got to step up. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. Next week is going to be the game that we've all been waiting for, Appalachian State. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.